Frustration is mounting and anger is growing with the liberals and passive politicians. Learn the playbook of those who are trying to destroy our country. From the Blue Collar Professor, he teaches, he leads, he speaks out for truth and justice. Now, the educator of all things conservative, your host, Dr. Gavin Mitchell. The leader in talk radio on the Internet, right here on K98talk.com. Is debt beating you down? You need discipline. You need the Debt Ninja. If you've been caught in a financial trap and need to be set free, then you need the Debt Ninja. Want to stop those harassing collection calls? Start saving thousands in interest and fees and get out of debt fast? Then you need to call the Debt Ninja. The Debt Ninja will find the best companies across the country that will help you consolidate all your bills into one easy payment, reduce your payments by 30 to 50%, and get you out of debt fast. If you have unsecured debt of $10,000 or more, such as credit cards, loans, or medical bills, call the Debt Ninja for a free 15-minute consultation. Call 800-826-1246. 800-826-1246. That's 800-826-1246. Call today. The Debt Ninja. This is Slickery Trigger for Rebel Road Tactical. With proper care and feeding, your pistol will be ready when you need it. There to save your life. Shouldn't your gear be that good? Whether you need a holster for comfortable, everyday carry, or a tough-as-nails holster for your next training course, Rebel Road Tactical has what you need. Check us out on the web at rebelroadtactical.com. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-516-7602 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-516-7602 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-516-7602. That's 1-800-516-7602. Again, 1-800-516-7602. In these uncertain economic times, you've got to do whatever you can to save money. One of our biggest expenses can be our cars, especially when unexpected repair bills hit. Not anymore. If you own a vehicle with less than 130,000 miles, is less than 12 years old, has a warranty about to expire, or even no warranty at all, you could stop paying for car repairs. Roadside assistance, towing, and rental coverage are all included. Don't wait for the next repair. Make one free call right now to see if you qualify. If your vehicle vehicle is less than 12 years old, has less than 130,000 miles, even if it's out of warranty, paying for car repairs can become a thing of the past. Call us right now and get your car protected before your next repair bill hits. Get protection and no more repair bills. Call 800-696-1030. Again, 800-696-1030. That's 800-696-1030. 800-696-1030. All right, folks, this is Rick Robinson with you. I want to tell you about some friends of mine from a company called Security Enforcement Specialists. When I ran my security agency for 12 years, I worked with one of these partners on a daily basis. He's been involved in this agency now, and with his other partner, they do have over 30 years of experience in the private security industry. If you own a business 
and you need someone to keep you or your customers or residents safe, then I highly recommend contacting security enforcement specialists today. Give them a call at 405-703-1796. Again, that's 405-703-1796. Again, tell them Rick from K98 Talk sent you. Like I said, if you need the help, they are here for you, so make sure that you... uh, Go look them up, check them out, and see what they can do. The wrong way. Welcome to the place. Welcome to the place. Individuals and businesses with tax problems, listen carefully. Do you feel like you're losing control over your finances? If you owe over $10,000 in back taxes or have unfiled tax returns, we can help you take back control. The IRS is the largest and most aggressive collection agency in the world, and they can seize your bank account, garnish your paycheck, close your business, and file criminal charges. Take control of your tax problems now by calling the experts at Tax Mediation Services and take advantage of the Fresh Start program and new laws that may allow us to negotiate a settlement for the lowest amount possible. Our team of tax attorneys and enrolled agents can stop collections and get you protected so you can take control of your financial future. Tax Mediation Services is accredited by the Better Business Bureau. Call now for a free case review and a price protection guaranteed quote. Call Tax Mediation Services now at 800-610-9050. That's 800-610-9050. 800-610-9050. The internet will never be the same. You're listening to K98talk.com. Well, the left is shocked at a new poll showing Donald Trump leading Hillary Clinton by seven points. And no, folks, your ears are not deceiving you. I am not Gavin Mitchell. My name is Matt Locke. I'm the better half of the conservative cartel with my good buddy and great friend and partner in crime, Gavin Mitchell. And Gavin couldn't do the show today, so he made a call, and here we are. And I hope I can do it justice. I do not have a Ph.D. I am not a professor of conservatism, but I try really hard, and I hope I can live up to the moniker of the Gavin Mitchell Show. But welcome to the Wednesday edition of the Gavin Mitchell Show. My name's Matt Locke. Uh, You can find me at Matt Locke on Twitter, L-O-C-K-E, Facebook.com forward slash the Matt Locke Show or the MattLockShow.com. But uh, let's get started here today because we've got a lot to talk about. There's a new poll out. Donald Trump up seven points over Hillary Clinton and everybody shocked, which once again, we're going to dig into that. We got the FBI investigating the DNC email leak. We've got the Freddie Gray case. We've got day two of what I call the circus in Philadelphia, the Democratic National Convention. Julian Assange is out there saying that we got more material coming on email leaks. So all kinds of things to get to today. So let's get started. And I want to start with this whole FBI investigation. It, it, it is amazing to me. The FBI has investigated Hillary Clinton and, uh, you know, they investigated her email server and all the things that she did and the wrongs she committed and the email she deleted and all that stuff. And, and the, the, the big takeaway from all of that is we learned as conservatives that the system is rigged. If anybody else would have done what Hillary Clinton did, they'd be sitting in a jail cell. They would. I, I, I can name you three or four, Petraeus being one, people who have done less and gotten more, right? Well, this email leak, this WikiLeaks that came out, Julian Assange, WikiLeaks, the whole deal of all these Democratic National Committee emails of Taco Bowl and in in making fun of Bernie Sanders' religion and using it against him and in reporters sending their stories directly to liberal medias instead of their you know liberal media outlets instead of their editors all that stuff but yet we've got the FBI saying on Monday that it's going to investigate how thousands of Democratic National Committee emails were hacked a breach that Hillary Clinton's campaign maintains was committed by Russia to benefit Donald Trump. Now, (laughs) right there, that says it all right there, doesn't it? Doesn't that say it all right there? I mean, 
Donald Trump's in cahoots with the Russians? How about everything that was leaked in the emails? You know, we live in a day and time today, and we're going to get to the DNC here. I, it, I watched it last night, and it was literally painful to get through night two, and I may have to start drinking tonight to get through, through nights three and four, but it's amazing to me that in two days of the DNC, We've heard nothing about terrorism. We've heard nothing about keeping this country safe. We've heard nothing of any substance other than a bunch of celebrities getting together telling us how great Hillary Clinton is. They had the mothers for the movements of all these criminal kids that got killed because they broke the law. They've had illegal immigrants marched in and out of the circus there in Philadelphia. And then to top it all off last night, you had Slick Willie talking about how great Hillary Clinton was and that we should believe her. And now... The FBI is investigating this DNC email leak to see what was going on. You know, they're they're, they're trying to figure out, and, and a statement from the FBI confirmed, that it is investigating a cyber intrusion involving the DNC, adding that a compromise of this nature is something we take very seriously. Why? Why is it something you take very seriously? The DNC, don't you think that you should have some kind of, of anti-cyber security measures on your computer? Are we just worried because it's the DNC? We're not worried about China taking, you know, taking patent information or hacking all of our military stuff or using that against us or anything like that. But we're worried about if Russia might be hacking the DNC. Now, WikiLeaks posted emails last Friday. And these emails suggested that the DNC was favoring Clinton over her rival, Senator Bernie Sanders, during the primary season, which we already know was happening. We know that whole entire thing was rigged. Now, Clinton's campaign pointed to a massive hacking of their computers in June that cybersecurity firms linked to the Russian government. Now, Clinton campaign chairman John Podesta added fuel to the debate Monday, saying there was a kind of bromance going on between Russian President Vladimir Putin and Trump. Now, do you see what's going on here? Do you see what is going on here? You don't have to have half a brain to understand that the Democrats know they're in trouble. I mean, the Democrats know that they are in trouble. Hillary Clinton is not going to get a bounce out of this convention. Donald Trump is pulling away from her in battleground states, in in the overall national polls. We are now starting to see people get the idea. And it's, it's not surprising to me, but it's surprising to the left. Now, I did my show today, the Matlock Show, and I talked about, you know, the whole uproar and the outrage and the fear that is coming from the left. Now, we're not here. You know, the one thing we're not hearing, nobody is denying on the left that these emails are accurate. No one has come out on the left and said that these emails don't contain what they contain. Now, we know Gavin and I talked about this on the conservative cartel that's airing tonight at 12 a.m. on Cowboy Logic Radio. You can catch that on WDDQ. Talk 92.1 FM out of Valdosta, Georgia, WJHC. Talk 107.5 FM out of Jasper, Florida, WSFB out of Quitman, Georgia. Tonight, 12 a.m., the conservative cartel. But we spoke about this this week. We talked about this whole entire deal of nobody coming out on the left and saying that what's in these emails is inaccurate. Instead... The narrative is, oh, it's Russia. We got to investigate them. They're in, he, Russia's in bed with Trump. And oh, my goodness. Now, Trump comes out today and throws a little gasoline on the fire, as only Donald Trump can do, and says, hey, Vlad, can you uh, get us some more emails into what's going on with Hillary Clinton before the election? And it's off the cuff, folks. I mean, this thing is jocular. It's off the cuff in all the stories I'm seeing this afternoon. Oh, my goodness. Donald Trump's in cahoots with Russia. Oh, my goodness. Because, see, the left has to change the narrative. The DNC is going poorly. I mean, they're marching up there, mothers of the movement. 
illegal immigrants, police officers who love Hillary Clinton, and there was only one of them, by the way, and now they've got an eight-foot fence outside of the Wells Fargo arena that they're in. They're segregating Bernie Sanders supporters from Hillary Clinton supporters, and yesterday was the roll call. Hillary Clinton is now the Democratic nominee for president. It's official. And she is now going to run for president of the United States. And it's, it's, the left is in shock. Let's just call this what it is. The left is in absolute shock. They don't understand why the public likes Donald Trump so much. They don't understand it. They don't get it. They think that all of this narrative that they've been pushing in the media, because we know from the WikiLeaks that they are in cahoots with several of the network news organizations, MSNBC, CNN, ABC, NBC, CBS, you name it. And their talking points are supposed to be pushing people toward Hillary Clinton. They don't get it. They don't understand why Donald Trump isn't is resonating. They don't understand it. They don't understand why they're behind in the polls, and now they're freaking out. And every story you always read is they're shocked. And I was listening to a podcast yesterday by the Rhino Report, great dude, and he's saying, look, CNN comes out with a poll that shows Donald Trump leading, and they apologize and say, well, we don't know if our sample is big enough. When's the last time you heard CNN apologize for a poll where Hillary, Hillary Clinton was winning? I mean, this thing is stacked against the deck. They don't understand why Trump's doing what he's doing. The FBI is trying to investigate Russia in this hack and the DNC, all the while the circus is going on in Philadelphia, and they just don't get it. So don't go anywhere because lots more to get to today. We're going to talk DNC on the other side. Stick around. The Gavin Mitchell Show. It's summertime again, ladies. Time to break out those sandals and give your toenails a little TLC. The nail technicians at Friendly Nails in Cleburne, Texas are ready to provide you with professional and friendly service. From manicures to pedicures and a variety of specialized services such as acrylic nails, facials, and waxing. Custom designs and a variety of stones to accent your nails are also available. The technicians at Friendly Nails are all licensed and trained in the latest technology and have experience applying every kind of polish on the market. So stop by and be treated like royalty. Relax in their massage chair and unwind. Full body massage therapy is also available by appointment only. For all you guys wanting to give your special lady a little treat, $50 gift certificates are available now for $40. And anyone who mentions hearing about Friendly Nails on the Gavin Mitchell Show or KLIF will get $10 off any $50 purchase. Friendly Nails is open seven days a week, Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Sundays from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. Located at 180 North Ridgeway Drive in Cleburne, Texas. Call them at 817-641-3400. Walk-ins are Welcome. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-525-8479 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-525-8479 to take your call now. Call 1-800-525-8479. That's 1-800-525-8479. Again, 1-800-525-8479. Do you need residential or commercial roof repairs, maintenance, or replacement in the Dallas-Fort Worth area? j Roofing has over 35 years of experience in the industry, and they have the know-how to keep you dry and comfortable. j Roofing also offers a roofing system that is warrantied against hail of any size, and this is a no-excuse warranty. j Roofing doesn't want their customers to cringe every time it hails. They want customers to have complete confidence that their roofing system is going to stand up to the task. Basically, j Roofing wants to stop the insanity lifetime 
lifetime roofing period. Re-roof once and be done. A Jabo roof product is aesthetically pleasing and tougher than anything you can find. A Jabo roof is so nice your neighbors will want it. Jabo lifetime roofing systems are strong as steel, tougher than hail, and guaranteed. So it'll be the last roof you put on your house. Looking for a price? Get a no-cost, no-obligation quote today at jabeau.com. That's jabeau.com. Jabo Roofing. Your long-term satisfaction is their immediate goal. Twisted Roads Trading Post in Crowley, Texas is your premier biker apparel, leather, and accessory store. Stop in and visit with brothers Ron and Carl Phillips. Twisted Roads Trading Post carries leather jackets, chaps, vests, accessories, gifts, and more. Open six days a week, Tuesday through Thursday, 1 p.m. to 6 p.m., Fridays and Saturdays, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., and on Sundays, 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. Got a motorcycle or truck to sell? Their park and sell lot is now available and anxious to show off your ride. Visit us for sewing, embroidery, and T-shirt printing services. Airbrush services by our friends at Kingdom Custom Creations are also available throughout the week. Call today or visit TwistedRoadsTradingPost.com or find and like them on Facebook. Located west of Crowley on FM 1187, then south on FM 1902. Go 1.3 miles and look for the flags. 817-768-8761. That's 817-768-8761. Twisted Roads Trading Post. If the flags are flying, we're open. Let's get back to the program. If you're sick of the garbage that comes out of Washington, D.C., then it's time to arm yourself with knowledge from the blue-collar professor. Here's your host, Dr. Gavin Mitchell. Welcome back to the Gavin Mitchell Show. I'm obviously not Gavin Mitchell. I'm his good friend, Matt Locke, and his partner in crime on the conservative cartel. But let me take a minute to tell you where you can find Gavin. And I know where you can find Gavin because... I listen to his program every day. It's great. Gavin is on the 405media.com. He's on Sackheads Radio, K98. Um, he's on Red Nation Rising. Um, he's on Conservative Radio Network.com. He's syndicated iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher Radio, and Google Play. I think I've covered everything. If I missed one, I, oh, nope, I missed one. High Plains Talk Radio. Sorry, Dan Butcher. But uh, thank you to everybody that carries gavin's show they all carry my show as well you can find gavin at twi- on twitter at the gm show or you can go to the gm show.com the gavin mitchell show.com not the gm show that's at gm show on twitter you can go to the gavin mitchell show.com that's his website but uh he appreciates everybody who listens does what they do keeping the conservative fight going now you can find me in all the same places and you can find me on the Conservative Cartel with Gavin Mitchell every Wednesday on Cowboy Logic Radio, which I already told you about. So let's get back to what I call the circus in Philly, the, the Democratic National Convention. Now, last night was day two. And let me preface all of this by saying yesterday, Tuesday, I took a personal day. I own my own business. I'm a recruiter by trade. And I decided I was going to take the day off. And I had asked my wife, I live here in Fort Wayne, Indiana, which is the second largest city in the state of Indiana. It's uh, Fort Wayne's about a population of 250,000. And if you include Allen County, which is the county that Fort Wayne sits in, the total population of the county is about 330,000 people. But I decided, and I asked my wife, my lovely wife, if she would like to go watch Hillary's America with me, the uh, movie by Dinesh D'Souza. That just came out, I believe, on the 22nd. So it's been out for roughly just almost a week, about four or five days right now. I said, hey, would you like to go watch that with me? And my wife's, she's not real big into politics. I mean, she understands what's going on. She follows what I do. I mean, she stays informed, but she just isn't immersed in it like Gavin and I are. So she says, no, you go ahead and, and you go watch it. And I said, okay. So I went and watched a matinee yesterday at a local movie theater here in town. It's about a mile down the road from me. And I watched... Hillary's America by Dinesh D'Souza. I'm going to tell you, brilliant. That movie was brilliant. Documentary, whatever you want to call it, brilliant. Dinesh D'Souza is a rare talent. And I'm going to tell you something. I said it in my show today. He'd better keep his head down because the left might put a bullet in him. I hate to say that, but he's saying the things that are going to blow the cover of the Clintons. And I will tell you, I am a history buff. I love history. I am always trying to learn. I know Gavin is the same way. We're always trying to get better at our craft. We're always reading. We're always educating ourselves. We're always doing the things that we need to do so that we can bring you a very informative and very entertaining podcast and that we can build 
our followers, and thank you for all that follow the Matlock Show and the Gavin Mitchell Show and the Conservative Cartel, because there are big, big things coming here in the next two to four weeks. So as I said on my show, and I'll say on Gavin's show, and Gavin doesn't know this yet, but he'll know it later, if you want to be part of what is going on in the new release and you kind of want to get an inside look to what's happening, please email Gavin, Gavin at the, it's Gavin at the Gavin Mitchell show. Yeah. Gavin at the Gavin Mitchell show at gmail.com. No, it is not. Hold on. I got to look it up. I don't want to say that wrong. I don't email Gavin all that often. You can email me the Matlock show at gmail.com. And I think it's Gavin at the Gavin Mitchell show.com. That's what it is. Gavin at the Gavin Mitchell show.com. Sorry, Gavin. I don't email you all that much. We do a lot of Dropbox and everything else. But if you want to be part of this wonderful new thing that is coming about, email Gavin at the Gavin Mitchell show.com. Email me, the Matlock show at gmail.com. Put in the subject title launch, L A U N C H, and we'll give you some details of what the conservative cartel, the Matlock show, and the Gavin Mitchell show are doing here in the next month or so. It's big, big, big. We can't wait. We're trying to. Further, the podcasting experience for all of our dedicated listeners, and we appreciate you all. But I went, I saw, I got sidetracked. I, I do that sometimes. I get sidetracked. But I went and saw Hillary's America yesterday. I'm going to tell you, it should be required listening, required watching for anybody that's going to vote in November. I mean, Dinesh D'Souza lays the argument out of socialism over the decades, over the centuries, pretty much talks about Lincoln, talks about the left, talks about Andrew Jackson, Woodrow Wilson, Johnson, you name it, Roosevelt, FDR. I mean, just goes into great depth in history of what's going on with the liberal left party, the the, the Ku Klux Klan, um, eugenics, Margaret Sanger, Planned Parenthood, and then lays out the story of Hillary and Bill Clinton. and, And I mean, it is masterfully done. So I watched that yesterday, and that brings me to the Democratic National Convention, day two. Because the headline speaker yesterday was none other than Bill Clinton, Slick Willie. You know, the president that was impeached, that uh, did not have sexual relations with that woman in the White House. Remember him? Well, he decided to come out yesterday and tell the world that his wife is the most educated, most responsible, most ready to run this presidency, ready to run this country that there ever has been. She's the most qualified. She's the best suited. And by golly, it's her time. I mean, that's what he wanted to say. I added that. But it's amazing. Because I sit there and as I watched day two yesterday, and I watched as the liberal left marches in the mothers of the movement, mothers of Trayvon Martin, mothers of Eric Garner, Mothers of, um, oh, I can't think of the, his last name is Davis. I can't think of his first name. Mothers of Sandra Bland, uh, just to name a few. All, oh, and mothers of, uh, the mother of Michael Brown. All of who are criminals. All of who resisted the law. All of who got arrested or got shot because they didn't follow the law. And that is the Democratic Party in a nutshell. But Slick Willie comes out and says, hey, look, I met this, I met my good looking wife. Back in when I was in school and I loved her and I, I chased her around in her little dress and she finally said, Bill, if you're going to talk to me, then, or if you're going to stare at me the whole day, let's talk or something goofy. I don't know. It was a goofy story and only Bill Clinton could tell it. And I'll tell you, I had a few takeaways from that whole deal. I saw myself personally, saw Bill Clinton speak in 2008 when Hillary was running it against uh, Barry there for the nominee back in 2008. And he came to Kinderville, Indiana, which is 25 minutes north of Fort Wayne. And he was at the fire station. And I went because I was intrigued. I wanted to listen to Bill Clinton. I wanted to see what it was all about. I wanted to see what was happening. So I went. You got to study your enemy, right? You got to study your opponent. And I will tell you something that amazed me more than anything else. Bill Clinton could control a room. Charismatic. Could tell a good story. Was personable has that Southern flair, you know, that good old boy talk that he has and whatnot. And it was just very easy to listen to him. And when I walked out of that fire station, I was like, wow, I can see why people are drawn to his personality. Well, last night, wow. I mean, Bill, old. I I don't mean to be offensive, but the guy's old. His hands are shaking. His voice is gravelly. He's trying to tell you a story. He's kind of like that uncle. 
that you have that comes over for the holidays who drinks too much and starts telling old stories and, and he goes way longer than he should, but everybody's too afraid to say anything because he's your uncle and, and you don't want him to do anything goofy or anything like that, but they just go on and on and on. Well, that was Bill Clinton last night. He wanted to go on and on and on and on about how amazing his wife was, about how she was ready, about how she could protect this country. Not once did he talk about any kind of impeachment, any kind of lying, any kind of emails, any kind of money coming up missing, anything like that. But in the end of this, and I'm not going to go through his speech because it was goofy, it was ridiculous, and it was all one big lie. I mean, the guy is a serial, serial sex offender. He doesn't love his wife. He's there for convenience. It's a partnership and away we go, and everybody knows that. But it has started, and I want to get this little ditty in before we get to break. There's a story out today from the New York Post that Hillary Clinton's campaign is pressuring TV stations across the country to stop airing an anti-Clinton political ad sponsored by the pro-Trump super PAC, Rebuilding America Now. Now, the campaign claims... The ad titled Outsourcing is directly contracted by evidence in the public record. Now, the ad claims Clinton went to India and talked up outsourcing and then received a donation from Indian politician Amir Singh of up to $5 million in 2008. Now, the Clinton campaign contends that the donation was made in a different year. Now, a lawyer for Rebuilding America, now Cleta Mitchell, said the political ad is well within the scope of important public discourse, and it is. Now, you know, you know you've hit a nerve when you've got the Clintons trying to shut down TV stations from running this ad. You know you've hit a nerve. And in the big thing coming up here next, Julian Assange, WikiLeaks, says they have more emails and more information on Hillary Clinton. And the question you have to ask and what we're going to get to in the next segment is where are all the emails from the Clinton Foundation, from the the, the Clinton charity? Where are those? Because we've seen none of those. Are any of those part of the 33,000 emails that were deleted off her server? Now, I told you Donald Trump made a joke today, and of course the media is all over him for saying, hey, Vlad, can you find those emails that Hillary has you know, on that and everybody's in an uproar? But it makes you ask a question. Where are the emails from the foundation? Don't go anywhere. We'll discuss that next. The Gavin Mitchell Show. Are you getting squeezed by the economic downturn? Hey, you were doing fine. Then all of a sudden you're having a tough time paying your family's credit card bills. Maybe you were downsized or even lost a job, but you still owe 10 grand or more in credit card bills and you just can't afford the minimum payments anymore. We're here to help. We are the Genesis Debt Partners. We know the secrets to negotiate better terms with your creditors. Make a free 10-minute call right now and and learn how we can help you get out of debt. 800-807-9767. If you owe 10 grand or more in credit card debt and you want to learn how you can pay less and get out of debt faster, call right now. 800-807-9767. 800-807-9767. Get out of debt now. Hey everybody, your pal Gavin Mitchell here from my friends at Texas Elite Landscape. We all have that embarrassing spot in our yard we just can't seem to get grass to grow. Or perhaps you're tired of pumping hundreds and thousands of dollars into your yard just to get it to turn green when the weather warms up. Or maybe the constant maintenance is just too much to bear. Well, my friends at Texas Elite Landscaping are the most respected synthetic grass installation specialist in North Texas. Locally owned and operated, they have installed over 1 million square feet of the highest quality grass made right here in the USA. And I know what you're thinking. Is it pet and child friendly? You bet it is. So whether you want your yard looking picture perfect year round, no matter what the season is, or perhaps you'd like a putting green in the backyard to keep your husband home on Saturdays, give my friends at Texas Elite Landscaping a call today. 214-298-7726. That's 214-298-7726. Or find them at TexasEliteLandscaping.com. Is debt beating you down? You need discipline. 
You need the Death Ninja. If you've been caught in a financial trap and need to be set free, then you need the Death Ninja. Want to stop those harassing collection calls? Start saving thousands in interest and fees and get out of debt fast? Then you need to call the Debt Ninja. The Debt Ninja will find the best companies across the country that will help you consolidate all your bills into one easy payment, reduce your payments by 30 to 50%, and get you out of debt fast. If you have unsecured debt of $10,000 or more, such as credit cards, loans, or medical bills, call the Debt Ninja for a free 15-minute consultation. Call 800-824-3301. 800-824-3301. That's 800-824-3301. Call today. The Debt Ninja. Uh, boy, man, I had a rough night's sleep. Uh, boy, Whew. I got a letter from the IRS yesterday, and I, I just couldn't sleep. Man, my, I'm dying here. Somebody help me. IRS problems affect more than just your finances. If you're ready to take back control of your life and you owe more than $10,000, you need to call the tax doctor. Their expert staff can immediately protect you from the IRS and state collectors and get you the best possible tax settlement guaranteed. The IRS has recently released new programs geared in helping struggling taxpayers, where you may qualify to settle your tax debt and wipe out up to 85% or more of what you currently owe. If you owe $10,000 or more in back taxes, call the tax doctor right now. See if you qualify to pay less. 800-631-9123. 800-631-9123. 800-631-9123. Again, 800-631-9123. Hey, liberals, try rooting for your own country for a change. Our blue-collar educator of all things common sense does. Now, back to the Gavin Mitchell Show. Well, welcome back to the Gavin Mitchell Show. I'm Matt Locke of the Matt Locke Show. I certainly appreciate you listening to today's program. And in the last segment, we were talking about the Clinton Foundation and these emails and the hacks and the FBI want to investigate if it's Russia or whatnot. But uh, Clinton cash author Peter Schweitzer spoke with National Review this week about where are the Clinton Foundation emails. He says the activities of Hillary Clinton during her time as Secretary of State intersect with the favor seeking of the Clinton Foundation. It is strange that so few of her publicly released emails touch on the Clinton Foundation. Maybe the private ones do. Now we know Clinton deleted roughly 30-some thousand emails off her private server from her time as Secretary of State. She turned over another 30,000 emails she said were work-related. And as part of the investigation into the email scandal, the FBI recovered some of the messages that were deleted off her server. It's unclear whether the others will ever be released or recovered or anything else but we've got a problem here with the clintons we've got a problem here with the cover-up of emails that is going on by hillary and bill clinton and the clinton foundation in the crime family foundation and all the crap that's going on because morgan wright comes out and she's uh she is a cyber security expert she says there's no doubt Hackers have emails from Hillary Clinton's secret server and Clinton Foundation. Now, Mrs. Wright, who is of identity security, joined Breitbart Daily News with uh, Sirius XM host Stephen K. Banyan to discuss the latest batch of leaked Democratic National Committee emails, which demonstrated active collusion between the DNC, the mainstream media, and Hillary Clinton's campaign against her rival in the primaries, Bernie Sanders. Now, she says, quote, what this shows is that bits and bites can take chunks out of anybody's political strategy. Now, she says, whether this is orchestrated, and and, and she says, look, information is power. Our adversaries know that. The Russians, the Chinese, the North Koreans, the Syrians, all these folks, The reason the internet is so powerful is because now the internet has no concept of distance so our adversaries can reach out and get anything they want. She says whether this is orchestrated by Russia or not, there's a lot of indication that maybe the FSB, the internal security used to be be the KGB back in the day, 
that they're behind this. They have the technical capability, and they certainly have the political desire to do something. She says, but you know what it boils down to is ones and zeros don't care about R's and D's. If you've got poor security, things like this are going to happen, and when they happen, these are the deepest, darkest conversations and secrets. Now, people forget that email isn't secure. They think it is, but it is not. And eventually, something like this comes out, and then you have to deal with it. By poor security, right meant such practices as writing long, complicated passwords down on paper, thus potentially exposing them to unfriendly eyes, and sharing sensitive material in group mails, emails that dramatically increase exposure. Now, oh, this is, I'm sorry, this right is, this right is a he. Wow, that's crazy. I did not know that. Morgan is a boy. So sorry about that. I didn't mean to call Morgan a girl, but he recalls Secretary of State John Kerry once saying that he assumes the Russians and the Chinese are reading his email. And they are. And they, <laughs> and, and the problem here is, and why the left doesn't like it, is because Donald Trump doesn't use a lot of email. So there isn't anything out there on an email that's going to come back and bite Donald Trump. But the DNC uses a lot of email. The RNC probably uses the email, and maybe those emails are out there. We don't know. We don't know what the motivation is behind these email leaks. Now, these leaks have been good for the conservative cause because it just proves everything that I've always tried to tell my listeners and that Gavin has tried to tell his is that we know the system for the left is rigged. We know that they're crooked. We know that they're in cahoots. They, we know that they're lying to you. We know that they're using minorities. We know this because we see it every day. This isn't something new to us. We, we come onto these microphones every day, and we preach the conservative gospel. It's what we do. And we try to bring you the facts of the matter as to what you can expect from the liberal left. And no one's done that better than Rush Limbaugh. And I've been listening to Rush over the last couple days. This is Wednesday. And he has laid out this argument so amazingly because the Democratic left party is in trouble. They're in trouble and people are starting to catch on. And now with all of these leaks of emails, we're just, we're conservatives, are just getting verification of what we already knew. Now where this is really hurting the liberal left is with the people who don't pay attention to politics like you do, who don't follow the Gavin Mitchell show, who don't follow the Matlock show, who don't follow the conservative cartel. It's affecting those people because now these people, they have brains. You know, they see that their world, their economy, their jobs are stagnant. They see that their wages haven't grown. They see that their taxes have went up. The underclass now, the, the black community is now seeing that they've lost their value within the liberal left community. Now it's a different sort of victim they need to further their political malfeasance. So people are starting to catch on, and the liberal left knows this. That's my point. The liberal left knows this because last night, Bill Clinton's like, oh, who are you going to believe? They're all lying. It's just a bunch of lies. Who are you going to believe? I did not have sexual relations with that girl. I mean, oh, sorry, got a little carried away there. But Bill Clinton tried to tell you that this was all a cartoon, that this was all the doing of Donald Trump, that this had nothing to do with Hillary Clinton, that it's now her time to be in the chair, that now it's her time to be the president because, gosh darn it, she's waited long enough, and she's a woman. She deserves it, right? I mean, this is what the left is telling you. I mean, it's amazing to me that on Monday night at the DNC, there wasn't one American flag in the whole building. They had an eight-foot wall up around the Wells Fargo Arena, and they had a wall set up in front of the speaking lectern so that people couldn't get up to the stage. Well, that all went on to social media. I mean, social media, Twitter was a buzz with that because it was a blue fence inside. I mean, you could see it clearly. So day two, guess what? There's American flags on the stage, and you think that the wall is gone in front of the podium, right? Wrong. The liberal left just put up a clear wall. They put up a clear wall because they think they can bamboozle you. They think that you won't look. They think that the liberal left uh, zombies that follow 
the Democratic Party blindly that will say, hey, look, there's no there's no offense there anymore. You guys just blew something out of proportion. There's no offense there when in actuality there is. It's just clear. They're just trying to snowball. They're just trying to confuse their followers because that's what the liberal left does. That's all they've got. And Julian Assange came out on this whole email thing and said, look, I've got a lot more material. I've got a lot more material relevant to the U.S. electoral campaign. And he says, look, I may come out and release more. And he, you know, Assange refused to confirm or deny a Russian origin for the mass email leak, saying WikiLeaks tries to create ambiguity to protect all of its sources. He says, perhaps one day the source or sources will step forward. And that might be an interesting moment. Some people may have egg on their faces, but to exclude certain actors is to make it easier to find out who our sources are. Now, is he going to tell you who it is? Of course not. Is it Russia? We don't know. But we know Russia has been saying that they have Hillary Clinton emails. We know about the fighter pilot that was going to court over there in Russia where they were going to see if these emails were valid and, and could be used in a court of law over there. So we know that Russia is a player in the game. But does it? Does it really matter where the emails came from? I mean, that's what the the left wants you to think. The left wants you to think that it matters where these emails came from. They don't want you to think, well, what's in those emails? What's the damning information inside of those emails? They don't want you to pay attention to that because that's what the left does. And that's what the Democrats have to do. And this whole thing is absolutely killing their credibility. And I just saw, I think it was today, Breitbart.com is out, and they're doing that uh, Clinton cash where you can go on Breitbart.com and you you can watch it free of charge. You can get the link, you get the link to it, but it's trending to the point it's over 1.1 million views already, all during this whole circus in Philadelphia. It is not going well for the left. And on the other side, We're going to discuss this shock poll that's got Donald Trump up seven. And, oh, yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about the Freddie Gray case. Don't go anywhere. The Gavin Mitchell Show. You hear the headlines. You know health insurance is a real mess right now. Premiums have skyrocketed, and in most cases, you're stuck with your plan until open enrollment. But there's a government rule that allows you to qualify for lower health insurance rates if your life has changed. That means if you've changed jobs, if you're having a child, if you're getting married, if you're getting divorced, even if you run a small business or you're self-employed, this law may qualify you to get lower health insurance rates. Call the health insurance hotline today. Learn how this 10-minute call can help you get lower health insurance rates. This is a free service to help consumers learn the laws to help them qualify for lower health insurance rates. So call right now to learn more. 800-926-4501. 800-926-4501. 800-926-4501. 800-926-4501. Hey folks, Gavin Mitchell here. If you're in the market for a new car or truck, Jerry Chevrolet in Weatherford has been family owned and operated for nearly 50 years. And my family has done business with Jerry for 25 of those. Jerry's proudly built a reputation of working hard to provide their customers with great service and exceptional value. Jerry Chevrolet has hundreds of new trucks in stock, and they are always marked with the absolute lowest price. Come test drive the Chevy Silverado or the Colorado today and get yourself a $25 prepaid Visa gift card for doing it. When you go online at jerrychevytexas.com, Jerry will offer you a $25 prepaid Visa gift card just for stopping in. No purchase necessary. It's as easy as that. If you have a trade-in, Jerry Chevrolet is always looking for quality used cars, and you can go to jerrychevytexas.com today and find out what your vehicle is worth. Buy new roads at Jerry Chevrolet in Weatherford and at jerrychevytexas.com. Come out our way and trade your way. Tell them Gavin sent you. Attention business owners, we know that owning a business means getting things done right now. So if your right now list includes a new building, call the Right Now Company. 
General Steel. We can design a building for your business quickly and save you thousands of dollars. That's right, thousands. You may think General Steel only builds large projects or that you can't afford General Steel quality. Well, check these prices. How about a 40 by 60 foot building for under $22,000 or even a 50 by 100 for under $35,000? That's right, a 5,000 square foot building for under $35,000. And these buildings all have General Steel quality. Best of all, you can still order a building and have it delivered in time to build this year. How's that for right now? So if your right now list includes a new building, call the right now company, General Steel. 800-398-8309, 800-398-8309, 800-398-8309, 800-398-8309, that's 800-398-8309. Hey everybody, Gavin Mitchell from the Gavin Mitchell Show here. Of course you can find our show every week on our flagship station, News and Information, 570 AM KLIF, but sometimes once a week just isn't enough. I would encourage you to go out to our website, www.thegavinmitchellshow.com, and there you'll find a plethora of information about the show, including archived episodes of our daily podcast. You'll find a blog written by me and other conservative writers and entertaining videos that are available with the Gavin Mitchell experience. I would encourage you to follow us on Twitter at The GM Show. We are on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash The Gavin Mitchell Show. And of course, we are on our flagship station for the internet, conservative radio network.com, with the most talented conservative podcasters in the country. So be sure to tune in Saturdays at 8 p.m. right here on News and Information 570 AM KLIF or through the week at conservative radio network.com or www.thegavinmitchellshow.com. If you happen to drive by the studios during a commercial break and you see a guy on the roof waving an American flag, that's our blue-collar doctor of common sense. And now here he is, your host, Dr. Gavin Mitchell. Welcome back to the Gavin Mitchell Show. I am Matt Locke, filling in for Gavin today. He will be back tomorrow, and you don't want to miss his show. He has an exclusive interview with a very, very hard-to-get fella, and it's going to be a great show, so you're going to want to listen to it. I'm not going to go any farther than that and don't want to ruin the surprise, but he's got a breaking story. He's going to have a gentleman on. It's going to be a great show. But I want to move to L.A. Times. An L.A. Times-USC Dornsife poll has shown that Donald Trump has now taken a 47 to 40% lead over Hillary Clinton. Now, the crazy thing is here, Hillary's numbers are falling during her convention, while Donald Trump's numbers rose by as much as 6 to 10 points during his. And now on Wednesday, this poll release Wednesday, shows that Donald Trump is up 47 to 40, and Trump's lead reflects a bounce following the Republican National Convention in Cleveland last week. But also, it continues a trend that began in the weeks before with revelations by FBI Director James Comey in early July that while she would not face criminal prosecution, Clinton had been extremely reckless with classified information during her tenure as Secretary of State. Now, Trump has led through most of the month of of, of July. I mean, with the exception of July 20th, he's been up pretty much the whole month. Now, Clinton may or may not enjoy a bounce after the Democratic National Convention wraps up in Philadelphia tomorrow. But reviews of First Lady Michelle Obama's speech on Clinton's behalf on the first night of the convention, for example, were stellar. At the same time, there is considerable unhappiness among supporters of Senator Bernie Sanders, whose delegates staged a mass walkout from the convention on Tuesday evening in protest at a rigged election process within the party. Now, if Clinton cannot unify her base, remember when the Democrats were saying that we couldn't unify the right? Well, now the left can't unify theirs. And the amazing thing is the liberal left media would not show you any photos of yesterday's arena while Bill Clinton was talking. It wasn't even half full. I mean, the Democrats have big, big problems on their side of the deal. Let's just call it what it is. Now, this USCLA Times poll corroborates new polling data from Gallup that indicates that Trump and Clinton have exactly the same favorability rating among American voters for the first time. 
So Hillary has fallen and Trump has come up. Now, that's what's happening in this whole scheme of things. Donald Trump is surging and has a lot farther to go. Hillary Clinton is plateauing and she is heading down. You wait and you watch. As these polls shake out over the next couple months, I would be surprised if Hillary Clinton catches Donald Trump again. I would be surprised. But let's move to the last story I want to get into here because it just follows with the corruption that is the Democratic Party. This is from the Baltimore Sun. Freddie Gray case charges against three remaining officers were dropped. Now, prosecutors dropped all remaining charges against three Baltimore police officers accused in the arrest and death of Freddie Gray in a downtown courthouse on Wednesday morning, concluding one of the most high-profile criminal cases in Baltimore history. Now, it's amazing because Baltimore State Attorney Marilyn Mosby should be held accountable. I mean, she brought forth information that was reckless. The state could not put a case together. And now we're seeing that all of these individuals within this Freddie Gray deal have all been found innocent. Think about that for a second. People burnt, I mean, looters, rioters, blacks, burnt Baltimore to the ground. Just as what, just like what happened in Ferguson. The hands up, don't shoot the lie. Well, here's your second lie out of the Democratic Party. And Mosley did this because of political reasons. How? Why else? Why else would she have done this? And now we're finding out once again, the liberal left is not factual with the information. Now, in a hearing Wednesday, meant to start the trial of Officer Garrett Miller, Chief Deputy State's Attorney Michael Schatzow told Williams that the state was dropping all charges against Miller, Porter, and Sergeant Alicia White. Now, Porter had been scheduled to be retried in September, and White had been scheduled to be tried in October. Quote, all of our clients are thrilled with what happened today. We'll be making a comment later to address the details of what happened, said Catherine Flynn, Miller's attorney outside the courthouse. Now, the officers still face possible administrative discipline. Internal investigations with the help of outside police agencies are underway. But none of them are going to be held criminally accountable for what's going on. Now, the acquittals of Nero, Goodson, Rice, and the likelihood that the remaining officers would have also chose bench trials before him, Bosby said she had to acknowledge the dismal likelihood that her office would be unable to secure a conviction. After much thought and prayer, it has become clear that without being able to work with an independent investigator, an investigative agency from the very start, without having a say in the election of whether cases proceed in front of a judge or a jury, without communal oversight of police in this community, without substantive reform to the current criminal justice system, we could try this case 100 times and cases just like it, and we would still end up with the same result. Because there's no proof. There is absolutely no proof that these individuals did what you said you did, and you didn't do your job. You didn't bring the evidence to bear for the state of Maryland to convict these police officers because there was none. That's the bottom line. The bottom line is this is a frivolous lawsuit, frivolous testimony, and a frivolous action by the state's attorney general to try to appease a liberal left party. That's all it was. All this was was to appease the Democrats on the left. We needed blood. We needed action. A a, a guy died. He was black. He died in police custody. And someone has to be at fault, right? Someone's got to be at fault someone's got to be to blame. That's the Democratic way. They needed a scapegoat, and the city of Baltimore could not provide it for them. So thank goodness that's why we have justice in this country. That is why you are innocent until proven guilty, and that is why everyone I know should have to go watch Hillary's America. I can't say it enough. If you are going to vote, come this fall, it should be required 
viewing for anybody who is going to go vote. And it was just amazing. So, hey, that's the end of the program, folks. I'm out of time. For Gavin Mitchell, I'm Matt Locke. Hey, I enjoyed it. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to The Gavin Mitchell Show, The Blue Collar Professor, produced in Fort Worth, Texas. If you like what you just heard, subscribe on iTunes and Spreaker.com. These and other links can be found on our website at thegavinmitchellshow.com. Be sure to tell your friends and colleagues about the Blue Collar Professor's daily podcast. Join us again next time as we take the liberals to school. All opinions expressed by the host or guests on this series are solely their opinions and do not reflect the views, policies, or positions of The Gavin Mitchell Show or its affiliates. This has been a Ron Phillips Pinnacle Broadcast Holdings production.